Director M. Night Shyamalan's new PG-13 horror film is in theaters this weekend. It's called Trap. And if you've seen the trailers, you have seen the movie. So I am not going to spoil anything in this review that isn't already in the trailers. So who's in it? This film stars Josh Hartnett, Ariel Donoghue, Allison Peel, Haley Mills, Kid Cudi has a micro role, and M. Night Shyamalan's own daughter, Salika Shyamalan, plays Lady Raven. Lady Raven is this big pop star who's having an arena concert for her biggest fans, but she is bait to trap a serial killer because someone found out that he had tickets to her show. Now, Josh Hartnett is living a double life. He plays Cooper, who is a family man, but he also has a dark side. He is terrorizing this Pennsylvania suburb as the butcher, killing innocent people. And he's taking time away from his murder spree to take his daughter to this concert because it is her favorite pop star. That's all in the trailer. And that's literally the whole movie. I think they give away so much in the trailer because now audiences expect there to be a twist and so this trailer giving everything away is to trap or bait audiences to go to the theater because you are expecting a twist that's going to be short-lived when you realize there is no twist this um, premise is very thin it starts off to a point so high of expectation that it plummets the rest of the movie sort of decrescendos into nothing even the climax is anticlimactic the finale because so much is given away so soon that there's nothing else to consume it's so thin the characters are so thinly developed there's nothing else to them they are very hollow most of the scenes occur in this venue in the arena and so it feels contained in that way in a way that constricts the audience, not even the characters. The character, Josh Hartnett, the serial killer Cooper, is trying to find a way out of this venue because there is a security checkpoint, a perimeter set up around this venue so that the serial killer cannot get out without getting caught. That's the basic premise of the film. And so we're following this story. We're following him trying to navigate out of the venue. Because the story isn't strong enough and there's nowhere else to go after the inciting incident, which is he realizes that he has been baited here. He really wasn't baited here. That's what they sell us on because he already had tickets that we have to root for him to get out. Because Josh Hartnett's character has no substance, I didn't care whether he got out of it or not because I was so bored along the way. We're really trapped, the audience, us. We are trapped in this venue too. He has a daughter, a 12-year-old daughter who is excited to be at this concert. She's having such a good time, but she's written so real thin that you don't even root for her either. Now you instinctively care because she is this unsuspecting daughter. Her dad is a serial killer. And so you care that much, but because the stakes are so undercooked, I was bored. Every time he tries to escape and couldn't, it felt like the stakes were so deflated. And M. Night Shyamalan, who also wrote this screenplay, and of course he's the director, he's using this camera work to deadpan these characters, especially Josh Hartnett and even Alison Peel, deadpan a few times and there is really no reason to do so. I was like wondering what this is for. Is this to promote his daughter's music? The music was good. It started off really good, but because so much of the story takes place in the concert, the, the music got a little annoying because it's constantly playing and a lot of it seemed to bleed into the next, meaning it was so it felt like it was the same song with the different chords. In other words, and no shade to Salika's music because a lot of it is catchy, but it got so, it, it got overstimulating because so much of the music was playing, not like a soundtrack, but like a playlist. And it just seemed so familiar. There's no originality to it at all. It just seemed to bore me for so long throughout the runtime, the performances. 
the performances were most frustrating for this whole film for me because there was so much overacting. I was shocked. Haley Mills is a legend. Josh Hartnett has been on this for many, many years. There are, there are scenes where a dead panned and those scenes, they were overacting. I, I couldn't believe it. I feel like the only people who knew the assignment were Allison Peel and Ariel Donahue. And there's written so poorly that they were trying to overcompensate for how underdeveloped the characters were written. I don't think M. Night Shyamalan got the best performances out of these great actors. It was very disappointing in that way. The performances were just shocking. And I don't mean any shade to Samika, but there were points where she couldn't dig deep in this really emotional scene. If she couldn't get there and her dad didn't pull it out of her. The story is underdeveloped. The characters are underdeveloped. The performances seem to overcompensate for the fact that their characters are underdeveloped. The music is okay to a point, but after a while, it seemed to be overstimulating. And I, I feel like M. Night Shyamalan might have lost his mojo. And it might not even be on him because I think, or at least I think that I am expecting too much from him, or that's not even it. I'm expecting him to give me what he gave maybe a decade or two ago. And he's not that writer and director anymore. He is not Signs, The Village, The Sixth Sense. Those are my favorites. He is not Unbreakable anymore, even Glass. These last few films from old Knock at the Door, Trap, are a lot different than The Village, Sixth Sense, Signs. Maybe he isn't that director anymore. And I should stop expecting that quality from him because maybe he isn't that director and writer anymore. So it's on me. He perhaps is trying to pass the torch to his kids. We saw his daughter in The Watchers and then his daughter in this film. So maybe he's passing the torch to them and maybe luxuriating in the fact that he doesn't have to prove himself anymore. Perhaps that is it because the way this is promoted and you expect a twist, that's not this. I don't think that's him anymore. At any rate, I didn't like it. That doesn't mean that you won't like it. I am just giving my view on my experience in watching this film. If you're interested, Trap is in theaters this weekend.